people that we suspect that will make the lines to be parallel. There are certain angles which are going to make the lines to be parallel if they are equal. What are those angles that are supposed to be equal? There are many of them here. But to avoid uh, making it guess what you are too much, I'm giving you a guideline as it. As, as from experience to say, this is, these are the things that my learners can check, man. They don't have to check everything here. So what are the things that my learners have yeah. to check, uh, Zanel? I'm saying Elena has to do the following. Elena has to go and check which, what are the given angles. Yes, mister. Now, given angles, it can be something like this. They can say to you in the statement, in the diagram below, we have an angle A equaling to X. This is a given angle. Or if they don't uh -huh. want to say that, they can say to you, A is equaling to 60. This is still a given angle. So they gave you which A is equaling to 60. They gave you which A is equaling to X. X is given, but this one here, it's a numerical value. This one here is given as a variable. Okay. Mm. Now, that's not the only way in which they can give us angles. They can also give us angles in statements. For example, in here, they said in the diagram below, we have B, O, C, which is the okay. diameter. They were giving mm. us an angle here indirectly so. Without saying to Elena, which A is equaling to 20 or A is equaling to 90. Well, so they gave us an angle mm. indirectly. So which angle were they giving us? They were giving us an angle subtended by the diameter B, C. So which angle is that? Mm. Let's talk about that. Mm. Which angle is that that they are giving mm. us here? It's angle A, but then we cannot say the whole of A. So it's A3 and A2, Mr. Okay, so we say this one, it's A2 plus A3. A2 plus A3, mm -hmm. they are going to be given as 90. So they are given by this statement here. This statement is giving you mm -hmm. A2 and A3 to be equal to 90. Now, mm -hmm. if this angle is given then, what I'm saying then from this, Zanel, I'm saying to avoid making, uh, to suspect many people. Once you suspect many people, chances are you're not going to get your calculate. But if you suspect one person, and then you get a strategy to, investigate around that one person chances are you'll find your calculate so here what we want to do is to say okay this person here can it correspond with someone can it alternate with someone or can it be a core interior with someone because if it can correspond with someone then it means we would have proven which the lines are parallel if it can alternate with someone then we would have proven with the lines are parallel then the next question that we ask we ask the given angle the given angle doesn't have to be 90 it can be anything it could have been x so let's check the, yes, uh, the yes. given angle. So this is 90. The 90 which is given, mm -hmm. can it alternate with someone? That's what I'm asking. Can it uh, can it correspond with someone? That's what, those are the questions that we should ask ourselves. So if we look at this, can it form as that shape? Let's check, can it form as that shape? That's the first question that we're going to ask. So if we say we have the following parallel line, can it form as that shape? Um, it looks like it. So if I can say this angle here, if this angle and this angle are equal, for example, I can say to them, A3 plus A2 should be equaling to E4. Then yes. the lines will be parallel. This is one way in which I can prove which is, the lines are parallel. It's one way. Yes. I haven't proven anything yet. This is one way in which I can prove it. That is why I'm saying these are the things that I'm required to prove. So the first way in which I can get the lines to be parallel is this one. This is not the only one. The next thing that I'm going to check, can I have corresponding angles? So can I have an F shape? Let's check an F shape. Can this angle form an F shape with someone? Can it does that? Yeah, Mr. Yes, it does that. So it says A2 plus A3 should be equaling to E2. Yeah, no, now, yeah, it, you can see it again. Now, if I can prove yeah. any of these things here, if I can prove any of these things, then I would be convinced with the lines are parallel. If this one is equal to this one, the lines are parallel. If this one is equal to this one, the lines are parallel. Now, let's go and try to prove now. This I know, this is what I'm required to prove. Now I'm going to prove my parallel lines. So how do I go about it? I'm guided by the given angle, guys. I, I'm, I don't just choose anyone. I'm guided by the given angle. The given angle is given by the diameter. So I'm going to start there and say, okay, 12.2.1. First thing that I'm going to tell them is that I have A2 plus A3, which is equal to 90 degrees. When they ask me why am I saying that, I'm going to tell them that I have an angle in half, half a second. second. I will say it's mm -hmm. an angle subtended by a diameter. It's up to me again. That's one. Yes. Now, I got this part here. This is the only part that I got. Now, the next thing that I need to do is to get E4. 
I can either get E4, which is 90, or I can get E2 is equaling to 90. Between the two of them, I just have to find one which is going to be 90. But why do I want to find it to be 90? It's because I already have 90 here. So 90 is going to be the simplest way to get um, these two things to be equal. Now, can I get E2 to be 90? Or can I get E4 to be 90? Which one between the two of them is going to be simple for me to make to be 90? I go and check in. So I have a line from the center to the midpoint of a chord. Now, what does a line from the center to a midpoint of a chord do? It becomes perpendicular to a chord. If it becomes perpendicular to a chord, it means which I can say, please say, E2 is going to be equal to 90 degrees. And then why am I saying E2 is equal to 90 degrees? It's because I have a line from the center. Yeah, and then a line from the center to midpoint of a chord. So now look at what happened now. By the grace of God, something happened. This one is equal to 90. <laughs> this one is also equal to, mm. to 90. It means in other words, mm. but I have a right. I have a right to say, okay, A2 plus A3 is equal to E2, which is what I'm required to prove here. This is one of the things that I'm required to prove. This is equal to E2. When they asked me, how did I make these two things to be equal? I didn't make them to be equal because the angles were corresponding. No, they can't correspond because the lines are not parallel. I made them to be equal because both of them, I managed to make them to be equal to what? 90 degrees. Is it fine? Yes. Okay. If both of them are equal to 90 degrees, then I can then make a conclusion to say, Mara, BA is going to be parallel to OD. How do we prove our parallel lines? Did we use the alternating angles? This one, we're going to use alternating angles here. If we use this one, this one here, we use corresponding angles. So which method did we use? Did we use the alternating angles or the corresponding angles? Which one did we use? Alternating or corresponding angles? Corresponding. Yeah, so we're going to say we have corresponding angles equal. If corresponding angles are equal, then you're going to have what? Parallel lines. And then with that being said, guys, um, 